What's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to play your favorite PS4 games on your iPhone, iPad, Android phone, or Android tablet. So in this video right now I'm actually using my iPhone along with the DualShock 4 controller. And the DualShock 4 controller will work with the PS4 Remote Play app with iOS 13 or higher or iPad OS 13 or higher. But when it comes to Android, in order to use the DualShock 4 controller correctly with the Remote Play app, you will need Android 10. And unfortunately, I don't have any Android devices that are running Android 10 at the moment. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate it and show you how to set it up on an iPhone, but the steps will be exactly the same for Android. And if you don't have an Android device running Android 10 or higher, you still can use the touchscreen controls, but I personally hate them, so that's why I moved to my iPhone with the DualShock 4. In order for all of this to work correctly, you will need to be on the same exact network with the phone or tablet you want to use and the PS4. Unfortunately, this won't work over LTE. Now, you can always be on Wi-Fi with your phone and Ethernet with your PS4, but it has to be on the same network. And I do recommend using a 5 GHz network or an AC network for your phone or PS4 if you want to go wireless on both. It's just going to make life so much easier. So the first thing we need to do is download the Remote Play app on our iPhone or our Android device. This is the official PS4 Remote Play app by Sony and it is free to download on Android or iOS. So we're going to head over to the iOS store or Google Play if you're using Android and find the PS4 Remote Play app. We're going to go ahead and download it. The first time you open the app up, you'll be prompted to sign in. So go ahead and sign in to your PSN network account. I use the same one that's on my PS4, just so I don't have any confusion. When you're finished signing in, we need to move over to the PS4 because we need to enable Remote Play on our PS4. From the home screen on the PS4, we need to head over to Settings. From within Settings, we need to scroll down until we see Remote Play Connection Settings. We're going to select this option, and from within this menu, you want to make sure you have Enable Remote Play checked. Now we need to go to Add Device. It's going to give us an 8-digit code. It's time to move back over to our phone or tablet. We're going to open up the PS4 Remote Play app, click Start, Register Manually, and we're going to put that code in right here. We're going to click Register. And as long as you're on the same network, you'll now be streaming your PS4 to your iPhone or your Android device. As you can see, we do have on-screen touch controls, and this is how your Android device is going to look if you can't connect a DualShock 4 controller. Basically, if you're not running Android 10, this is how you're going to have to use the PS4 Remote Play app as of making this video. But I personally hate touch screen controls, and since it works with iOS 13 or iPad OS 13 or higher, I'm going to go ahead and connect my DualShock 4 controller, and I'll show you how to do that now. So this is really simple to do. We're going to go into our settings, select Bluetooth. Now we're going to put the PS4 controller in pairing mode by holding the PlayStation button and the share button on the controller for around 5 to 7 seconds. The light on the PS4 controller will rapidly flash and your iPhone or Android device will automatically detect it. We're going to click connect and our DualShock 4 controller is now connected. So if we go into the Remote Play app, connect to our PS4, we can now use our DualShock 4 controller to play our favorite PS4 games on our mobile device. I really do wish this worked with an earlier version of Android instead of Android 10 because every single device I have is either running Android 7 or Android 9 and it will not work with every single one that I've tested, even the Galaxy S10. So you don't need to be right beside your PS4 for this to work. You can be anywhere in your house as long as they're on the same network. And since this app has been updated with DualShock 4 compatibility, I've actually played my PS4 more in the last two days than I have in the last year. It just makes it so much easier for me to grab my mobile device and controller and start playing from anywhere in the house. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I don't think that Sony's going to backport DualShock 4 compatibility to older versions of Android, so unfortunately, that's what we're stuck with right now. But a lot of newer devices will be running Android 10, and your DualShock will work with your Android device in the future. If you're interested in picking up one of these little phone clips for your PS4 controller, I will leave links in the description. I picked mine up on Amazon, I think it was about $8, but you can find them for $5 to $20. I wouldn't spend over $10 for it. 
but this one does work well. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running in the PS4 Remote Play app, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.